Time for the Bias Sports Report. Breaking news. The Oilers have fired head coach Dallas Eakins. Uh-oh. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. He'd at least have to coach, like, what, 48 games before they fired him? Right? Can't fire him any less than that. Dallas Eakins actually said his main focus is getting the Oilers to a certain level of conditioning and fitness. Uh-oh. But he did leave out the parts about grit, skill, talent, ability, and overall performance. You might want to work on those too, right? Dallas. Meanwhile, former coach Ralph Kruger has gone back to his previous career of killing teenagers in their dreams. It's what he does best. He put on his, uh, he took off his suit and put on his red and black shirt just recently. And his hat too. The Canucks are speaking with John Tortorella about their open coaching gig. Uh Uh-oh. Come on, Tortsy. Do you actually think the Canucks have what it takes to win a Stanley Cup? That, that's ridiculous. That's ridiculous. I know. Those guys are never going to win a cup. They're pathetic. You know what else is pathetic? ESPN mentioned Tim Tebow 137 times in 120 minutes of Sports Center yesterday. Dum, 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 dum. 137 times. Are you serious? Tebow, 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 Tebow. Tebow. Just to think we were this close to never hearing about Tim Tebow again. Then along comes Robert Kraft and Bill Belichick. I'm watching highlights. Tom Brady already looks sick of him. I realize I'm part of the problem because I talk about him too. He's just so damn polarizing. How does someone with such limited talent get so much attention? It blows my mind. It's like if you went to the Oscars and Pauly D was there and then everybody wanted to talk to Pauly D on the red carpet, right? Yeah, buddy! That's really what it is. Pauly D can't act... Tim Tebow can't play football, yet everybody wants to talk to him. Everybody needs a soundbite from Tim Tebow. Did you see R.A. Dickey give up seven runs on ten hits yesterday? The Jays lost to the White Sox. Uh-oh. Dickey said, quote, The moisture really got to me with the knuckleball. Yeah. That's not a Horatio. That's actually what Dickey said. That was Dickey explaining what happened. And tonight, the Jays open a series against the Nationals with the debut of pitcher Ching Ming Wang. Yeah. That's his name. That's, that's not a hurry. That's his name. This is why I don't talk about baseball. This is why. Dennis Rodman says LeBron James would have only been an average player if he played in the 90s. Uh-oh. Wouldn't have been anything special. Rodman then proceeded to get drunk, dye his hair gray, put on lipstick and a feather boa, and flew away on a magic dragon. He was going to see his buddy Kim Jong-un. Why is everyone so f***ing stupid? He's a weird cat, man. And Sunshine Girl Camilla is hoping being in the newspaper will land her a magazine cover photo shoot. Dum, 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 dum. Actually, a relevant person magazine called, and uh, they want you. For their July edition. 